another brutally hot day as the dangerous heat wave is set to peak. Yeah, the triple digit temperatures across Southern California raising fire risks as well as health and safety concerns. We have live team coverage of the scorching heat. Our Jean Kang is live in Woodland Hills reporting on conditions there. We have our Casey Montoya standing by in studio with a full look at your forecast. But first, we go to KTLA's Carlos Herrera in Highland where the line fire has prompted evacuation orders. Carlos, take it away. And you know, those uh, evacuation orders were announced just a short time ago by officials uh, with the San Bernardino County Fire Department. That area now includes Cayo del Rio uh, to Highway 38. Uh, even areas that were part of the uh, evacuation warnings just a few days ago, that decision coming according to officials because of the uh, shift of those flames that are now heading north. Uh, towards that mountain range. We're at Arantxa Park here this morning. We're at the command post. The shift change just happened a few hours ago. They're bringing in lots of liquids, waters uh, as well, because these uh, crews, of course, are going to need it. They're in for another treacherous uh, day. Let's get you over to some pictures as those firefighting efforts continued uh, overnight. Uh, on the ground and of course and in the air making several night airdrops too in hopes to take advantage of the somewhat cooler temperatures out here the line fire has now charred over 3800 acres you can see it in the video there how those flames are burning it broke out thursday evening it initially burned in the direction of the san bernardino national forest but it shifted toward highland it's still zero percent contained and it's fueled by dry brush low humidity and of course the hot temperatures. In addition to mandatory evacuations that we just mentioned, evacuation warnings are still under effect for the neighborhoods east of Church Street between Highland Avenue and Green Spot Street. Right now, no homes are in the immediate path of the flames, but that could change. We have a tough firefight on our hands. You know, the weather's not helping out in any way. The steepness of these hills, uh, we're going to do everything we can to, to increase that containment, though. With all of that, the fire has been burning towards the mountains and away from homes. Is that still the case? So the fire has been burning, and we have been evaluating the entire perimeter of the fire. So there is no one specific area. We continue to evaluate where the fire is going and allowing the resources to go where actually it's needed. Yeah, crews are again going to be working in triple digit heat, carrying heavy equipment and rugged terrain. They're closely watching the area of Smiley Park and Keller Peak. That's in Running Springs as those flames started shifting north. The people there now preparing for evacuations. It's, uh, it's a bit scary. We see the spread of the fire and we think that there's a possibility that it can keep climbing up the mountain. So we're definitely thinking about all of our friends that live in, in this area. Yeah, officials are hoping to get uh, an update on the acreage and containment later today. They say they hope to get to at least 5% containment uh, by the end of the day. But of course, Casey, we know it's going to be hot today. More triple digits in store for the next few days. We'll send it back to you.